the water maker's been running for about an hour and a half now, and I think we're ready to taste test it with this little tester thingy. Dad, shut it off. Oh, that's bad. Inspiration is a fickle thing. Sometimes it comes from watching others do the things you aspire to do, and other times it comes from setting a deadline and sticking to it. Largo, we've now been on like day four of getting up before the sunrise, and you guys have been behaving like champs. What do you guys think about that? I think that I should get a Lego after this. I think. <laughs> <laughs> they are both effective in getting you where you want to be, but when you have an immovable target, you just seem to find a way to get things done no matter what. I don't think these are adequate working conditions. There's no craft services, I'm freezing. <laughs> I feel like this should have been done someplace Where's tropical. the pizza? Over the past couple of months, we've been working at getting friendship to be the cruising vessel of our dreams. But because of COVID, this goal's date has been a bit flexible. So right now we're trying to find, what's it called? The AIS? The AIS transponder. The AIS transponder, which basically which can save video. our life. On the flip side, Avalon has been working relentlessly on her AP exams, which has a hard stop date. She's saving that food down there for later. Oh God, no. It's funny how like, I haven't, all my stuff is like contained in one rectangular area from here to there. Now we're at the point where the final touches on both seem to be coming to a head. Is your water coming out? Um, it's slowly coming out. Join us as we arrive at the conclusion of Avalon Spanish AP exam adventure and we do what we hope to be the last big tune-up on friendship before we set sail for other lands. Thank you to our patrons whose support makes these episodes possible. Good morning everyone. So we need groceries and we are about a two mile walk, hike, john, whatever you want to call it from the grocery store. So this morning, I threw on my backpack and I ran into town here for to get some groceries. And even though it said online that the grocery store opened at nine, they actually don't open till 10 because yesterday was a holiday and apparently they get an extra hour or something like that. So here's the deal. With this lifestyle, you gotta be flexible. You gotta be, be prepared for delays and all that good stuff. So I am going to, look, I'm gonna show you this beautiful church over here. Isn't it cute? I think I'm just gonna go grab a coffee and a tostada at the cafe to go and sit out here. Um, on these benches and hang out and return some emails through my phone. Cafe con leche, pan con tomate. And you pour this, put this on your toast. It's a very popular um, breakfast here in Spain. Well, <laughs> my muscles. That hit the spot. I think I found a cute little cafe for Avalon and I to go celebrate her exams once they're done. The people there were really lovely. The food was delicious. It was affordable. And they did say my Spanish was muy bien. So my head is like. On the morning of Avalon's first AP exam, it started off with a solid breakfast. Always a must. And as much as I tried my best to record this perfectly, I did run into some minor technical issues. I'm still tired when I wake up. Like my dreams still near. It's no spot of my best friend now. Get me away from here. I got plans, I got things to do. Gotta do my hours, do my hours. Is everything so damn hot? Gray skies and rain clouds. I postpone everything. Worrying about stupid things. When is it my turn to start living? It's official. The first test is beginning. Are you ready? All right, let's go get in the car. So one of us slept really well and one of us did not. And I bet you're gonna guess who didn't sleep well wrong. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. Are you okay? I slept great. I don't sleep like a baby. And like I, 10 minutes. I had my cafe con leche yesterday and it kept me up all night. So I'm just happy that she slept well because I'm gonna sit at a coffee shop outside on the patio and work and maybe take a little nap while I'm there. How long is this exam? Four hours. Four, four, well, four hours. Three hours, but there's like a 10 minute break and some extra time in the middle. Okay, and which exam are you taking today? Tell, tell, <coughs> the, tell the family out here. Math. Math, is it just math? 
Nath Calculus AB. Calculus AB, which I think is pretty hard. I wish I had the time to take the harder calculus. You could take it next year. No, but it's only like two months. Oh, is it? It's only a two-month class. Usually they add it on to Calculus AB. Oh, really? That's what Calculus BC is. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's why oh. I wish I could have gotten my first course done a bit faster this year. This overachiever already did two math classes this course, this semester. I mean, this year. Oh, my God. Your car awaits Avalon. This is Avalon's power shirt. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna wear it for every exam? No. This is my it's Star Wars Day shirt. Any parting words? No. Okay. Give me a fist Go. pump. <laughs> See you later. Good luck. I love Thanks. you. Uh oh, I'm trapped inside. Um, I guess I'll go. I'm gonna go find a fence to jump. I don't think it's the end of the world. <laughs> um, that's weird. I can't get out. Well, there is absolutely never a dull moment in our life. I am sitting here in the school entrance right away. I guess you'd call it like a mud room uh, because when they went into the exam, there's the school's closed, there's the proctor and the two kids and no one else around. So when I went to go out the gate, I couldn't get out. Someone has to buzz me out. So I'm just hanging out here, <laughs> sitting on a cement floor, uh, working on my computer. I'm gonna keep my mind straight. How did it go, Avalon? So tell me, how did it go? It went well, I'm not allowed to say anything else. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm I'll, not. I'll turn off the camera. I will cancel my score if I say anything else. Okay. I think it's a good one, so okay. I don't want to So we're going to go off the record, and Alan's going to talk to me. One of the things that we have not done that we plan on doing, Largo and I, while Jessica were, was was gone, was test the water maker. And this is one of the things, hold on, let me put this thing down. This is one of the things that we really had um, earmarked while we're here. Make sure we can survive, make sure we can find an anchorage, make sure we can sort of do this the whole thing solo, which we, we've done great. Um, the other thing is with water, our water maker, or at least our water container, is right down there and it holds a decent amount of water. It holds 400 liters, which for Largo and I has been remarkable. We haven't really had any need since we left the marina, you know, almost two weeks ago, um, the need to go ahead and refill water. In fact, we are still at about like 30% left on water, which means, you know, for two of us, 400 liters goes a really long way, which is really great. The, one of the reasons why it's been working so, so well is that I've been managing um, the whole dishwashing system. Um, not everyone is as, as, as frugal with water as, as perhaps I am. But we have to really just learn how to use the water maker, which means we have one, might as well use it. So my job at this point is to well, get the water maker running. And to do that, I gotta, I gotta distract Largo. Largo, I need your help. I need your help with water maker. Um, you ready? It, it's tool time. It's tech time. It's water maker yeah, time, yeah. Largo. He, he really does enjoy helping, I, I promise you. So our water maker system is, is like in two different places. Number one is down here. These are the two main filters which takes the intake from the water from the hole to the through hole from the through hole and uh, it passes it through and then it passes it all the way up to the top where the actual reverse osmosis system is. And that is the motor that sort of desalinates the water. Our test today is to make sure that we have, well, clean drinking water. Do you think that we can make clean drinking water out of salt water today? If the machine works. That is very, that's very, that's very, Largo. In I go. God. What just happened? Um. So we have a Katahdin Power Survivor 80E water maker. Um, it's not the biggest on the planet, and it's but it's 12 volt, which is great. So you don't have to have the engines running. It can produce up to 12 liters an hour, something like that. Like four gallons an hour is is a production. Once again, it's not a massive amount, but if we keep our production or at least our consumption low, we uh 
this should should do the trick for a family of four. So this is big motor unit which is utilizing a massive pump which takes in the water from the filters the primary filter which is you saw over there by the washing machine and then it pumps it in all the way through to here so this is our reverse osmosis filter which then it pumps in the water through there and then it ex extracts the salt from there and then it has two out outtakes the first outtake is to our clean water uh this is going to go into um, our big tank right over here and then the other outtake is the brime which is the residue which gets shot out to sea so our first job is to remove these two because they are filled with what's called pickling solution so that when you, you're not using it for a while it sort of keeps everything so it stays in tip-top shape um, we have to unscrew those guys and then we're going to insert these things which are our what is this? That's actually what goes ahead and, and un it takes away all the all the gunk from the seawater. It looks like rope. It is kind of like rope. It's like a big yarn roll. So this one is a primary, and this thing basically takes off like the big junk, um, and then this one it takes out the, the finer particles. And that's all before it hits. Check this out. This is actually really cool. All the water is coming in through here, which is the same thing that we're using for our electric head, and then there's a, there's a split off, and then the water goes from here all the way up top into the filter system through a pump, and then the pump will filter it through all these filters, and then that is what's going to lead us up top to the big drinkable water the big drinkable water the reverse osmosis system remember righty tighty right. lefty loosey yeah i can't get this all right do you want to try yeah you Let should me try. All right. oh boy i don't know how this thing comes off um it looks like it's going down <sighs> which tells me you got to use like silicone grease to make sure that it doesn't happen again when you put it back on. Oh boy. I have to see exactly which way that but the, the old owner did it. Um, I'm gonna cut to the tape and see how, how he got there. I have a feeling that there may be a trick to this. We're reviewing the tape. Just now. So you wanna do these and they, they are quite hard to undo well. So you get your hands on them and they will undo, yeah? Mm -hmm. So you don't do it and they're full of water at the moment. So after pushing and pulling... Yeah, we finally got it. All right. You know what? I should have worn my Wildebeest shirt. That's that's basically what, what I was missing out on. Give me a moment. Welcome to another segment of Wildebeest, where we're trying to turn on the water maker. And look at this thing. It is like a spool of yarn. Listen, if we ever get a cat, I'm never letting the cat get a hold of this thing. So now with a bucket, we're going to start getting the initial extract and then dumping it in here because you can't just go ahead and fire it up and let it go although that would be really cool but you have to let it sort of go through the process of getting out the excess water making sure that the pickling solution is, is gone and it sort of starts to create clean drinkable water so it's time for spider largo Ta -da -da. wrong references but <laughs> all right Lord, what i need from you no don't you don't have to go all the way in this time. what do you mean <laughs> oh shoot. Okay, go ahead. Have fun. Alright. Okay. Now you see like you see the, the line that's going from the filter to this? the water? Yep. So look behind you. Can you can you do that? Yeah. How much can you use? Can you pull it out from but do I just like turn it? No, you need to pull it out. Is it coming out? Yep. Yeah. Ow, my head. <laughs> Did you get it? Yep. All right, cool. But how's your head, Largo? Good. Bucket. Right. All right, bucket. So now we're going to open up the water supply. Just like that. Look at that. The water is water's filling up. It looks like it might be working, Largo. Hey, we're making our own water. So you're telling me this is currently drinkable? No, no, I'm telling you right now that it's got to be ran for a little while and then we're going to test it. So let's let, longer, let's let this run for about an hour and a half and then we're going to see how much water we need and then we're going to dump it and then we're going to go ahead and run some more and then test that. Interesting. I think the idea is to only run this during the day where we have like a bunch of awake people. <laughs> I don't know if we want to have this at night going on. 
And the way this thing works is essentially that massive pump, that massive pump, for the space it looks like a massive pump, but that pump is shooting in water really, really, really high pressures, like around a thousand PSI around there into the membrane tube. Um, I think that uh, it's, it's, well, it's a tried and true process. It is a, it is a something that once we test it and it works well, we're gonna have, we need to run our, our washing machine because quite frankly, we have to, we have to do some laundry. Now, while we waited for the water maker to flush out the preservative solution, Largo got back to work and I was able to make a quick trip off to land to take care of two much needed maintenance items before we started cruising the countries in the Med. So today is a very meaningful day in our life. Now that the vaccine is out, we are, well, we are, I am um, finally in France eligible, which is a really good thing, to go ahead and get the vaccine. Finally, 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 finally today. Um, vaccine number one. The insane part about this entire thing is that the, the vaccinations are, are done at the parking lot of a casino. It is, it's almost fitting. It's, it's, it's awesome. In the beginning, honestly, Jessica and I were not exactly for the vaccination in terms of like, you know, it just came out, it got rushed to market, da 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 da. It's working. Uh, numbers are going down. People are, are not dying. I mean, I, I think that if I got the, the, the virus, would I be okay? Yeah, I think so. I'm, I think I'm a healthy person, but... Listen, this is going to open up the rest of the travel for us for a very, very long time. Let's go. Let's make magic happen. One, two, three, go. I, I feel healthier. That's it. Simple. Simple. <laughs> After the shot, it was time to celebrate with a little bit of grooming, and then I quickly got back to the boat to finish the water making setup. So the water maker has been running for about an hour and a half now, and I think we're ready to taste test it with this little tester thingy. Dad, shut it off. Here we go. This is our water. So with all three waters, we have to test for purity. In, in essence, parts per million, as far as like particles inside the water is what you're looking for. Each three should meet excellent, if not good. What does good mean? Good means anything between 600 and 300 parts per million. Anything less than 300 parts per million is excellent. So um, Largo, are you ready to try all three of them? Yes. So this is water from the water maker water from the store, water from our current tap right now, which has been sitting there for how long, Laura? Around two weeks. And for the first annual World Towning Water Testing Ceremony, our water generator gives us... Oh, three, 324, three, three, around 330. That's so, actually not that bad. So it's in the very good range. Uh, no, it's in the good range. We're calling it very good because it's almost excellent. It's almost excellent. Now we are testing packaged water. What do you think that's gonna be? I think it's going to be advertised as the best water, but maybe like in the mid range. Oh wow, it actually is great water. With Technically excellent water. That is, that is 108. Parts per million. 108, that's actually really good. So in other words, we cannot sell our own water then. That's what it comes I down to. I mean, we could, but it wouldn't get great reviews. And finally, our tap. I'm a little concerned about this one. Well, uh, port water after two weeks is 401. Wow, that's wow. actually horrible. That's not horrible. It's actually not bad for sitting around for two weeks. It's in the mid range. But I'm glad to see that we're making better water than what we currently have. True, and now? Seriously? Okay, why don't we try why don't we try our water now? Let's see if our water is gonna be any good. You ready? <laughs> All things considered that's a little like tasting a little chlorine. -y. Is it? Taste it. Well, if that had poison in it, you'd die first. Yep, it's pretty good. All that being said, Largo, we're, that's it. It's we're self-sufficient. We're totally self-sufficient. It's awesome. 
Except for gas. Now we have now now mom can come back and we don't have to worry about a thing. Well, I mean, we do kind of have to worry about food. No, we we can go fishing. Um, let's test that one. Oh yeah, let's go do that. To the next segment. So back in Spain, the rest of the exams for Avalon came and went, and by the time the final test came around, it was time for us to take the train back to Valencia and celebrate. Hey, honey, I'm on my way. You did it! You're free! Oh, look, the dog's excited too. You did it! Honey, I'm so proud of you! It's party time. Tell me, it's party time! How was it? Um, the multiple choice was good. I probably got only like two or three wrong. And then, before we headed back to France, we were treated to something extra special in Barcelona. Avila and I are heading out for the evening to have dinner with Sue and Ray, who are two of our patrons. Guys, this is the best part of what we do. We get to meet up with people who are part of our community, who are awesome, who have become our virtual traveling family on most days. But if we're lucky enough, oh, sorry, I'm in a cab. If we're lucky enough to actually get to meet them in person, enjoy, enjoy a meal and chat and hear their story, that takes it to the next level. So if you're a patron and we're in your area, we will definitely want to meet up. She's gonna be able to pick my pink hair out a mile away too. <laughs> I think that's her because I'm gonna guess that that's her up there on the balcony like Cinderella. <laughs> what? I don't know why, but I feel like I can pick her out. Imagine if it's not her, that'd be hilarious. Oh my God, she's not waving back. <laughs> okay, let's wave again, ready? No, I saw it. <laughs> that's not her. That's her, that's her, I swear it's her. Sue? Even though we were ready to get back to the boat, meeting up with Sue and Ray was definitely one of the highlights of our month in Spain. Because I know <laughs> Avalon likes sushi, I made some tuna tartare. Oh, look at that! Over guacamole, and listen, these are um, tabbouleh tacos. Okay. Oh, yeah. And I found these beautiful pink ones to match your hair. Yeah, those are. <laughs> Okay, so now it is officially the next day and we are actually on our way home. We are currently in um, Marseille, which is like the big city right near our, our um, town. And we are now getting on the train to go back what? to the rest of, to go back home, basically. We'll come back for you, Avalon. <laughs> okay, bye. Uh, where where would you like? Where would you like me to sit? Well, this would be hilarious if we were to like fall in the water. <laughs> well, my computer's right there too. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Okay, so I'm the one who took the exam. And you're leaving without me. <laughs> we'll be back She's tomorrow. She's hungry. She oh. needs cheese. Oh, it's well over here. <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay, okay. bye. bye. So good. Largo's in D and D. Family just got home and we miss and love you so much. Oh my god, I'm in the middle of D and Largo, I missed you so He's much. So interested in that hug. You're hugging up to me now. Don't pretend you don't. You didn't want. You don't want to hug. I, I actually want to see you. if I'm taller than you now. Oh yeah. Uh-uh. Not till I get my hug. Hold on, I want to see how much you grow. Actually, I want to see it. Oh my god, no. you feel bigger! No, 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 no. Megan, come up. I need you to be sure that I'm taller than him. Wait, <coughs> 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 you're not taller. I yet. can I can look right into your eye. Oh my no, god. No, you dude. cannot. You're looking up. No, I'm look not. Down. <laughs> oh my god. I um, He's, he's grown a lot. He has grown oh, a lot. No, he hasn't. I'm yeah. literally. No, he hasn't. Yeah. And with that, our family is finally reunited, and we are 1,000% ready to start the adventure that we bought this boat for to become full time cruisers. Subscribe now and join us next week as we set sail for adventures in the Mediterranean. How do you like the taste of the water? 
the bottled water? No, no, this? our new, our new Let's fancy see. water. Let's see. Oh. Tastes salty. It does oh, not. Nice. You ready to be back on the boat? There no, you go. No. Okay. There's no curfew in Spain, Dad. Um, There's no curfew in the boat either. You can stay up on it as late as you want once school's over. <laughs> Unveiling an Avalon, what is it, a cup or a bowl? It, a bowl. Oh wow, uh -huh. look at that. Not nice. Wow, that's actually really cool. I'm super impressed. Avalon. Clearly her pottery skills do not come from her mother.